We're live here in the Arbo's household. <laughs> From our house. Um, <laughs> first of all, thank you everyone who watched our very first video. Thanks guys. We'll get better. I we promise. know it was a little rough. We're working on it. Yeah, we didn't do an intro. We didn't do an outro. We didn't do like a little photo thing. So, you know, all things that we are learning. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. But this yeah. one, um, we have been living in this house for two years. Yeah, a little over two years. A little right? over two years. And we want to show you around. Um, and we like it. Yeah, so we, we love we'll show it. it to you. We're renting it and we love it. And Laura's she's done a an cutie. awesome job of curating it, and I've just helped by saying things I didn't really like. But she's done most of the work in here to make it an awesome little home. So <laughs> I like most of your stuff. So thank you, baby. All right, ready? Here we go. go. And then we can do let go. <laughs> we fix the sunniest day of winter. Actually, we were sitting around and I was like, oh my gosh, the sun is out. We gotta do this tour so we can show you around. Our floors are a little creaky, so you'll hear that throughout. But this is the living room. And this is our Christmas tree that we still haven't taken down. She's so pretty and she's still alive. So we just took all the ornaments off of it and we're just gonna hang around with it until she tells us that she's done. So a few things in here that I'm probably going to get asked about, so I will just tell you anyway. This couch, love this thing. We got this from City Home, a local spot here in Portland. We should have gotten a sleeper. I will say that is our one regret with this living room situation, but it's a dream. Um, we have our, Matt made this, right? Did you make this? No. We have our essential oil diffuser here. We have like a home body blend going right now and it smells like fall and Christmas and all of the holidays that you love and can't live without. Moving on. This is just a lot of things that we love. There's photos of our friends. There's notes that they've written us. Here is a rock that my nephew was convinced is a shark tooth. So we picked that up at Cannon Beach and brought it back home. Spoiler alert, it's not. Bookshelf full of a lot of books that I have read once and will probably not ever read again, but our friends do love to come over here and borrow lots of them, which is a-okay with me. TV, big flag. Every Portland home has to have vinyl. Here's our record player. <laughs> the creaking is actually <laughs> going to be so special. Okay, another weird thing about our house, we don't have, as you will see as you're looking around, we don't have a place to eat. We don't have an eating area. So this is our living room slash we eat here, like literally right here. All right, so one last thing in this room I wanted to point out was our beautiful whale tail art that we got up in San Juan Island. It's a whale tail made out of whales. It's pretty cool. All right, so welcome to the kitchen. Come on in. We got this awesome little plant window, which really, if you can have one of these in your house, you should get one. They're amazing. We love having it here. Got a nice double sink. Our fridge just kind of sticks out in the middle because there's not really a space for it, but that's right. That's what happens when you live in a tiny old house. We got all of our pantries, shelving here, which is pretty awesome. We've got drawers for dishes, pots and pans. Show on the fridge, babe. Let's get down and dirty. We've got some Oatly, of course, out in the front. We've got lots of kombuchas, kefir waters. Lots of Trader Joe's. Laura's making some overnight oats here. Our favorite flagship Beecher's cheddar cheese. You know what I'm saying? And we've got all of our friends, mostly Christmas cards that people send to us. I just love them. We just cover it. And you know, some of these are years old. Some of these are fresh. Fresh. So Matt kind of hangs out in the kitchen the most. I, as you probably know, if you've followed me in any length of time, I don't cook. I don't like it. 
I always say when one day if we become multi-billionaires, I won't even need a kitchen. Just get it out of here. I would just love to have food appear all the time, but it kind of does because I'm married to this one. Um, a room I do use in here, so this is our nook. I think this was supposed to be the dining area, maybe, but we made it into our office. This is from Wayfair. The desk and is from Wayfair. This is from Target. This is from Craigslist. Um, we have some of photos that we've taken, some insects that we have taken from different trips that we've been on, some Portland artwork. My backpack that I'm obsessed with, my Able backpack that I take with me every single day. It's leather, it's the best. And then we have a little bar cart situation over here. If we want to make some cocktails with friends over. Zowie, go to bed every night. Oh my god. <laughs> We've never done that once. I've never done it in my life and I want to be dizzy for like 25 years. <laughs> this is our bedroom. This, okay, one thing about the bedroom is Matt just doesn't like anything super feminine. Um, and so we kind of work together for everything to just be a little masculine, a little feminine, comfortable for both of us, again, so that we've both agreed on it, which I am totally down with. Our bedspread comforter is from Pendleton. Love this thing. We have Pendleton. Blankets with Pendleton sheets, we have Pendleton socks, we love Pendleton. So this is one of our favorite prints from them. Um, our sheets are from Brooklinen. They are so buttery soft. I did a collaboration with them about a year ago. Love the sheets so much that I just bought another pair and they just feel like satin. We don't like linen sheets. These are just like the satiny ones and they are delicious. Society6 photo, a Kevin Russ photograph that he took that we love a lot. And this is a wall hanging that Matt got on one of his adventures years ago, but now it's hanging out with us. And we both have our bedside tables. We don't have a lot of closet space. Tiny house, older home. This is my closet, part of it. <clears throat> this is our dirty clothes hamper. My other closet here, and you can peek inside of it if you want. I just don't have a ton of stuff. And then I have a couple of bins. Actually, this one's really funny. Um, I keep like yoga pants and pajamas under here. This was my sister's cheer stuff basket <laughs> from when she was in ninth grade. And that was in the 90s because I graduated high school in 99. And so I've probably had this since 1997. And it has just come with me everywhere. The shower curtain is from Target. Our towels are from Target. Bath mats from Target. I will show you a few of our favorite things in here. Because it's always interesting to see what everyone uses. Maybe you don't care. But you might care. I will actually share some things that I can't live without. This face oil from Herbivore Botanicals is just a dream. The orchid, it's delicious, it smells amazing. Also, love Kiehl's. Um, I bought this at an airport one time on for a flight. I just needed something quick and it is incredible. Maybe this is like the toothpaste that I'm just obsessed with. It's kind of the only oil thing that I'll buy all the time. I love this stuff. I wouldn't say that it has magical powers or anything, but it's great. And Glossier, this, this are my two things that I cannot live without. I love them. I love them. Okay, if you're ever over and you need to know where the hemorrhoid cream is, it's in the secret bottom drawer. Just don't use the, use your fingers, not the two. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, it's not a multi-use. <laughs> Good gosh. <laughs> wow, I feel myself turning red. <laughs> yeah, I didn't clean this, so. Alright, so we just came from the bathroom here, and now we're in the guest room. 
This is also my closet room as well, since Laura keeps the other closet. So I've got this dresser and closet here. We both, again, don't have too much stuff, but definitely enough. Look at all those towels. <laughs> Look at all those sheets. That's a lot of sheets and towels. Laura has a thing for sheets, so <laughs> we keep collecting them. Uh, this is this sweet bathrobe that I picked up from a vintage shop here in town. For our mattress, we got Stumptown mattress, which is made here in Oregon, here in Portland, I think. And um, it's really, it's been nice. We like it. It's a little bit firmer, which I'm down for. Our other bed is a tufted needle, and it's great too, but a little softer, so we like it. This is kind of our back entry to the house. It's great because we can come in here and take off our shoes, wet clothes for me, coming home from work and construction, usually covered in dirt and debris. I don't want to bring it in the house. And this is the basement. Gotta really watch yourself down here. Yeah, watch your head. We've got some foam to guard your face on that. A little bit wild, but this is where we store all the toys, all the camping equipment. I try to keep a lot of the stuff we use for the van right here so that way and kind of just grab stuff, throw it in, load up. And then on the other side, we got the laundry. Nothing fancy, but she works. This is our backyard. We got a picnic table off Craigslist. We got our Adirondack chairs from the hardware store. They usually we have fire pit out here, but it's in the basement right now being stored for winter. We got some rosemary bushes. Anytime we need a little fresh rosemary, Smell it. <laughs> Can you smell it? It's so good. <laughs> Woo. We also have a few Christmas lights to brighten up the backyard in the evenings. All right, there you have that it. That about wraps it up. There you have it. That's our <laughs> This spot. is our home. You've seen all of it. You've seen it on Instagram for a while, and now I can't throw filters on these things. So now, now you can come back and look at our house anytime yeah. you want. You're yeah. welcome. You can, you're yeah. welcome to come over anytime <laughs> virtually. Virtually. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to say subscribe. Come he, back here. Here. Subscribe there. Subscribe here. Subscribe there. Uh, thanks for joining, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Much love, y'all. <laughs>